and I'm gonna show you guys one of her artistic abilities that is really cool. I wet my plants. <laughs> she got so excited she came out and wet her plants. <laughs> this video is now about it's Eric. About me now. <laughs> I just hijacked the video. <laughs> Hey guys, we're having a little bit of a party here in the backyard. I'll show you what's going on. <laughs> what are you up to? Just watering my garden. <laughs> this is part of it. So what stuff do we have going on here? We've got some hot peppers, bell peppers, different hot peppers. What are these big things? Which one? <laughs> well, both of them. <laughs> this is a sunflower. It's a mammoth one. Should hit like 14 feet high. Ooh. So. <laughs> the sunflower is almost as tall as mom. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it's right. <laughs> and then this is corn. This is glass gem corn. And we're starting to get the tassel things. So hopefully, we'll see some stuff growing in here soon. But it is huge. It is, I remember when that was just barely sprouting not too long ago. Not too long ago. So we had never done any gardening before and we figured, hey, this year is the year that we need to start something. So Leslie has been working tirelessly on this garden and it looks amazing. We have stuff coming up. We've so, eaten some stuff and... It's a little rough. We had a rough start. Yeah. <laughs> but these are potatoes. Yeah, and those are about ready, right? Not too much longer. I think once the flower starts, then the potato tubes start growing in the ground. Nice. So just briefly tell us what else you have going on here. Cucumbers, the cucumbers were attacked by earwigs and then a dog came in our yard and knocked them over and they were barely even hanging on. So I'm excited that they're growing back because I thought they were all dead. <laughs> <laughs> We've definitely had to deal with our share of pests. We didn't realize we had so much stuff going on in the backyard, so many earwigs. And once we started this garden, it became a garden party for all the pests. So <laughs> I'm sure those of you that garden, you know exactly what we're talking about. You know the battle that we're waging here, but it looks like we're finally starting to win that battle and we have some pretty good stuff growing, so we're excited. So what are you giving a drink to now? This is either a yellow straight neck or a yellow crook neck squash. And we had the weather change here a little bit. As you can see, it's overcast. Earlier today, it was clear blue skies. Leslie and I were out for hours. We put in 10 plus miles of walking. And so Each. we've got <laughs> some of the tans and burns to prove it, but got some good exercise and we're hobbling around a little bit today. <laughs> also raining. It was raining, huh? And there was crazy wind. It was made by like 28 or 27 or 26 small prattle winds. Gosh. Yeah, it rained a bit, but we're still out here making sure everything's wet. My first zucchini. Check that out. It's pretty cool. We've got more growing. <laughs> So show us this last part of the garden over here. We have watermelons, sugar baby watermelons. We've got another melon here, different kind, and pole beans. I'm about to put a TP type structure up over them so that they can grow up that because they're getting pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Another cucumber growing through there. And then our other melon, it's called a Fonzie melon. It's going wild. It's on that side and it's gonna probably reach my tomatoes. 
<laughs> so these are the tomatoes. Yeah, they're not doing the greatest. But the, the Roma tomatoes, right? The Roma's over here. We've got a couple in there. We have this. This is a Better Boy. Better Boy Celebrity. And then Thai Pink Princess. Wow. Who knew they had so many different types of tomatoes? I had no idea. Pumpkins! Yeah. <laughs> There's another one too. Yep, got two of those. So that's everything, right? Not really, but it's our, most. Our most stuff. other pumpkin, we, we had to cut it off because it wasn't growing. And Jordan here is mom's number one helper in the garden. Mm-hmm. He comes out, helps her water every time. That's not that heavy. So, he takes a lot of pride in this garden too, and they're both doing an awesome job with it. Uh, hey dad, those clouds are coming for us. They're huge. They are big, huh? Big and I dark. Could, I could see them moving. That's why I could see. And we also have a zucchini. Yeah. That looks good enough to eat. Um, hey, Leslie, where'd you disappear to? <laughs> there you are. Just watering. <laughs> Soon you're not gonna be able to see me at all in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a jungle. It already yeah. is. I wet my plants. <laughs> <laughs> she got so excited, she came out and wet her plants. <laughs> And it looks like nature wants to wet her plants too, so we are gonna go head inside. And once we get inside, we're gonna talk about her. Really? Yep. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be all about you. Oh, great. Everyone's gonna get a chance to know you. The real Leslie, not the sweet Leslie we see on camera, but the real Leslie. <laughs> the hardcore Leslie, Just watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, while Leslie and the boys are wrapping up their work outside, I thought I'd hurry and run inside and show you guys one of Leslie's talents. Something that she does that's way awesome. And she's not the kind of person to brag about this, so I wanted to make sure it was on the video. And I'm gonna show you guys one of her artistic abilities that is really cool. So I'm gonna have her explain it when she comes in because she does a better job explaining how she came up with this and kind of what she does. But as you can see, this is Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story and he's made up of all different kinds of words of uh, the names of people from the movie. And they're all in a different style, different coloring. Look how cool that is. Got the Instagram logo here. YouTube, check that out. And this one is one of my favorites. I love that, look how cool that is. That would make the perfect shirt, poster, I mean, you name it. Ampersand, that's really cool too. And she actually did make a shirt off this. It's really cool. We're in Utah and these are the five, or I guess, yeah, five national parks that we have here in Utah, in the shape of Utah. Really awesome. And a couple years ago, she did a series of Halloween images. So we have a black cat, candy corn, pumpkin, same pumpkin but on a white background, skull, bat, and look how cool that is. She did this one not way too long ago. That is so awesome. I love this. And she's done a couple of other Disney characters since that haven't made it into her binder yet. But aren't those awesome? She's had an artistic ability for a really long time ever since I've known her. And not too long ago, she came up with this word art style. Like I said, I'll have her explain more about it because she'd do a better job than I would. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, how awesome her artistic ability is. 
Well, everybody's finally back inside. Caden was already inside to begin with. Jordan looks happy but tired. <laughs> Griffin's coming up the stairs. Mackenzie's coming down the stairs. Okay, guys, guess what? 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 We're going to be talking about mom the rest of the time. Yay! Yay! Yes! This is going to be an all about mom video. So I want you guys to think of the first thing that comes to mind when you think of mom or talk about things that you really like about mom. Okay? And I'm sure you can come up with plenty, but just think of a couple, okay? Okay, Kaden, you were eager to go first. So tell us what you got. Mom really loves to draw. She does, huh? Uh -huh. And she's amazing at it. Right? Mm-hmm. Anything else you wanted to say? Mm, I'm still going to have to think, but that's all I'm going to say for right now. Okay. Jordan? Can you go next? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mom is a loving mother, and uh, to my opinion, and to me, the best mother in the world. Kenzie, I think you said <laughs> you wanted to go third, right? I said second. You said second? Oh, darn. Hmm. Well, your third. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first thing... What about... What, uh, the first thing when I think of... When I think of mom... She's the best mom in the world. And she's my favorite. And... I like her drawing. Awesome. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> And I agree with all that. She's awesome. Okay, Jackson. When I think of mom, she's the bestest mom I've ever had. Her drawings are good, and I also love her. I love her forever and my family. <laughs> Very cool. And Griffin, do you want to say anything about mom? <laughs> When you think of mom, what do you think of? Food. Food? <laughs> when you think of mom, you think of food? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll slip in here. It's my turn. I think the, I think the kids said it all. <laughs> Just this is about to get awkward. <laughs> now, in all honesty, we could make a whole video about uh, Leslie's amazing qualities. In fact, we could make probably a whole entire series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but to add to what the kids said, um, like all of them mentioned, she's an incredible mother. She's an incredible wife. She has so much love for all of us, unconditional love. Even though all of us make mistakes and can make life a little difficult for her, she puts up with all of us. She has a lot of patience and she's just incredibly loving and she's a great blessing to all of us and she's also a really good decision maker <laughs> no i'm not <laughs> because you chose me right oh okay <laughs> so she's good at making decisions making good decisions i'll take that <laughs> and one other thing She's always been incredibly supportive of the things that I've wanted to do. And she's been very encouraging and she's been amazing. Couldn't ask for a better partner and she's awesome. He's about to cry. <laughs> Jordan, cut. We need to take a break. Oh, here comes the waterworks. <laughs> well, now it's time for one of my favorite segments. It's time for rapid fire. And rapid fire is where I shoot 10 this or that questions over to Leslie. And she's gonna try to answer them as quickly and as honestly as she can. Okay, the pressure's on, here we go. This or that, dog or cat? It's supposed to be quick, right? As quick as you can. Both. <laughs> you can't do both, one or the other. Um. 
This is gonna take 10 minutes, hold on. I guess cat. Okay, <laughs> finally, it was 10 minutes. Okay, phone call or text? Is this like the decision thing you said about me? I, I, I take that back, she's not a good decision maker. <laughs> Text. She made she made one good decision, but she, needs, she has a hard time making other decisions. Text. Text. Okay. Couch or recliner? Recliner. Passenger or driver? The passenger. I make her be the passenger, anyways. So. For the last thirteen years, I've been a passenger, for the most part, just because <laughs> he's he gets car sick. Cake or pie? It's a tough one. Usually cake. We're halfway through. Number six, amusement park or day at the beach? Amusement park. Pancake or waffle? Waffle. Card game or board game? Card game. Last two, big party or small gathering? Small gathering. Very last one, most important, intelligence or humor? Humor. Humor? She didn't have to choose between the two with me. She got them both. I got both of those. She got intelligence them. and humor. This video is now about it's Eric. It's about me now. I just hijacked the video. <laughs> most people don't have humor and that makes them angry bums. Very true. So I'd rather people be happy than dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a long time, but we were able to make it through this rapid fire segment. No, it was 30 a long. minutes later. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. These are some of our favorite pictures of mom the last few years. Oh, about that. <laughs> this is unfinished. My my finished version isn't isn't in here. Oh, I thought that was the finished one. Nope, the finished one's better. If it could even be any better. <laughs> now I pulled that out when you guys were finishing up outside. Ah, oh, you've been sneaking through my stuff again. I was <laughs> getting into mischief, but I told everyone that that's. One of your many amazing talents that you have is the ability to do that kind of art. Uh -huh. I don't, I know you call it word art, but I said I'd let you just kind of explain how you came up with it and so, talk about it. There's already kind of word art where people create the word art and turn it into like an image on the computer. I don't do it on the computer. I mean, at the very end, I convert it so that it's a file on the computer. But what I do is I add a lot more creativity to it. Um, and so it's a lot funner than what you can create in Adobe Illustrator doing that word art. I say that's not really word art because it's just fonts. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is not fonts. Yeah, it's really cool. She draws all of that out on the iPad and just one picture will take several hours because she comes up with all the words. She comes up with different fonts. Then she has to take all of those words and puzzle it together to create the image. So there's so much that goes into it and I would be horrible if I tried anything like that, but it's, just second nature to her and she does an incredible job as you can see it does take a really long time my recent 
collaboration, I don't know, collaboration? What? The recent job I did for Space Station Gaming, that image alone, um, to draw it and then like fix things on it and uh, change a couple of things, that took me well over 80 hours, probably right around 90 hours just to draw it. So, but I, I worked really hard on that one. Other ones might be more like 40 or 20, so. So besides your obvious art talent, <laughs> what other talents do you have or what other hobbies do you have? What things do you like to do? And then what are some of your favorite foods? One question at a time. Gosh. <laughs> I know. No. I'm, I'm just firing them off. <laughs> um, I like doing crafts, arts and crafts. So I crochet, I sew, I can do some woodworking. I can paint a little bit, not tomatoes on rocks. That <laughs> <laughs> um, I like drawing images, not like just word art. Although I do love doing word art also and farmhouse signs, um, quilting. Yeah. I like to dig for pretty rocks. <laughs> she loves rocks. I, I like pretty crystals and things. And cooking, I like most of the time, unless I'm in the kitchen forever. Then I'm... But... Any favorite foods? All of them. Top three? All of them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, in no particular order? Pizza's always good. Uh, my mom's beef stroganoff. It's with rice and a gravy and meat, and it's actually really good. <laughs> um, Alfredo, salmon patties, beef stew. Yeah, it, it's hard. I can't. I can't. It's hard to choose three. That's a but tough that's, thing. But that's good hearty meals. Then you get to the desserts. <laughs> desserts so. are a different story. Mm -hmm. But, Yeah. Was there something else you asked? <laughs> nope, I think I think that covered all my questions. After doing a, a video on me, I'm I don't really like talking about myself. I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good stopping point. Um, hope you guys enjoyed getting to know Leslie more. She's yeah, it's awesome. not Leslie. It's Leslie. <laughs> Don't make the mistake of saying <laughs> Leslie, because that's one of her pet peeves. Mm, it really is. <laughs> it seems like half of people that say Leslie say it that way, with a Z sound. Yeah, which it's fine, but... Yeah. Just one of those things. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Grateful that we could help you get to know Leslie a little bit more. Don't forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. We appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed. You're part of the LOL Lane family. Every Friday for the next, I guess, month or so, mm -hmm. we're going to be doing another one of these Getting to Know Us videos. And let's see, we've done Griffin, Jordan, and now Leslie. Mm -hmm. So next week will probably be, I think, Jackson. I think we'll do Jackson next week. He's been really excited for his. So be on the lookout for that. We hope you guys are all doing well, and we're excited to see you in the next one. Yep. See ya. See you later. Peace.